Jackie and for today's tutorial I have another barely there makeup look this time inspired by Rory Gilmore from Gilmore Girls I love Rory's super fresh look and it's quite easy to recreate I have some of my new favorite products that I'm gonna show you guys and then I also threw in some super super quick and easy hairstyles that I think are perfect for school work um, college anything so if you guys enjoy this tutorial make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my beauty videos and also I would love to know in the comments which boyfriend was your favorite that Rory dated anyways let's get started with the makeup first step to this Rory Gilmore look is moisturized skin Rory has such nice luminous skin and a new moisturizer I love is the Kiehl's Pure Vitality Skin Renewing Cream. This has red ginseng root and honey which smells really nice and I typically do put this on at night before bed but I thought I would show you a new fave. Now to really brighten up the skin, I'm using the Shu Uemura Stage Performer Glow Creator. This is a base that gives a glowing boost to the skin. Just check out this glow and I think it really brightens up duller looking skin. Now Rory is super natural so I'm skipping an all over foundation. You can use a BB cream but something I sometimes like to do is I take one of my favorite concealers, this one is Too Faced Born This Way, and I've applied a bit to the back of my hand and I did go in and add a drop of the Body Shop Light Adjusting Drops and created a little mix just for a perfect match but if you already have a match with your concealer, you're good to go. And now with this thinned out formula, I'm just applying to areas that I have a bit of discoloration like under my eyes, around my jawline, around my nose, but I'm not patting all over. I still want some natural variation, but I do want it to be, of course, a bit more even. Make sure if you do this method that you do have a perfect match or it will look blotchy in the daylight. I buffed out with a brush and now I'm going in with one more concealer. This is totally optional, but I felt I needed a bit more coverage and I love the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. So with the smaller brush, I am making sure to really even out around my mouth and under my eyes as well. This will really polish up the look of the skin. And as always, I'm using a Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. This one is a pink that has a bit of plum to it and with a small stippling brush, I'm stippling onto my cheeks and up my cheekbones. And I'm also adding this just around my skin, like on my forehead and on my chin for that youthful pop of color. These next products are so beautiful. This is the Touche Eclat Glow Shot by YSL and I'm first using the creamy color and applying this right to the cheekbone. In a screenshot I'm inspired by, she has a nice glow but it does not look like a powder highlight, looks super natural and radiant so I've applied this as well to my eyelids and forehead too. Now to set the face makeup, I'm using Revlon Color Stay Powder and I started doing this little technique where I take a sponge, this is also by Revlon, and I like to pat the powder um, to mattify and then I'll take a brush and just gently powder all over. Now for bronzer, so even though this is a natural look, I'm going to add in a mix of skin tones so it appears more natural in the end. This is the Sweetheart's Sweet Tea Bronzer by Too Faced and it's one of my favorites. So I've speckled this onto the skin, under my cheekbones, under my jawline, forehead, but also just where the sun would naturally hit, like on my cheeks and nose. Here I'm using the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush and we're going to stipple this down the cheeks. We're gonna darken it up a bit and this adds a really cute, natural looking blush like Rory. Of course, faux freckles are completely optional, but I wanted to add a couple, so I'm using a deep contour shade with a bobby pin and just speckling along my nose, a couple on my forehead, and I actually do have a couple of these in this placement naturally, but they cover up really quickly once I have makeup on, so I'm just accentuating that, and this does make it appear like you're wearing a lot less makeup too. Now for brows, I'm using this Revlon Colorstay Brow Crayon and deepening up my brows and setting them in place in one super simple and easy step. I never just use one step products, like usually I'll pencil them in, but this was so quick and I will definitely be using this product when I'm running out the door. And now onto shadows. So the first shadow I'm using on the brow bone and inner corner is called Spotlight by Too Faced and it's a yellowy neutral shade. I'm copying this from a screenshot I took, but you could also just use any light shimmering shade. Back with Papa Don't Peach Blush, I'm applying to the crease and blending into the brow color. I also took this peachy shade and I have applied right underneath my bottom lash line in the inner corner to about halfway for cute kind of smiling eyes that have a warm glow to the eye. 
lastly, take a deeper shadow and just blend this to the very outer portion of the lash line. Curl your lashes and apply a tiny bit of mascara. I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex and I've wiped off a majority of the product and I'm going to wiggle it through my lashes a couple of times on my top and bottom and then just brush out with a clean spoolie, uh, especially to make sure it's not clumpy. For lips, I'm using two products but you could use one or the other. First is Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color and I'm applying this sort of like a liner. It's just going to enhance my natural lip shade. And now a product I love is the Revlon Kiss. This is in the shade and scent Strawberry. These smell so good and I'm just applying it to my lips for a cute pop of color. And this hydrates and has a really cool texture. It's smoothing. It just smells great so I love it. <laughs> Finally, I'm going back in with my glow shot and this one is in the pinky shade which I decided I preferred after trying both and I just am applying back on at the cheekbones and I've layered it one more time onto my eyelid for that glow and here is the completed Roy Gilmore look. Of course, to make it more simple, you can cut out some of the skin products. I would suggest just one concealer, cream blush, powder and then speckle over some powder blush for less steps but it's totally up to you. Onto some really quick and easy Rory Gilmore inspired school hairstyles. My go-to hair look when I'm in a rush is my instyler because I just slip in my ends and I like it because it polishes off the ends of my hair, adds some body, but my hair isn't uh, like slick down and super straight. It still has my natural texture so I didn't use too much heat and then I just added some volume spray to my roots, a bit of hairspray to keep the flyaways down and there you have a really natural hair look that is super low maintenance like Rory. Rory often has her hair tucked behind her ears which I think looks super cute and as much as this is an adorable like schoolgirl look I think this would also be a great summer look especially with the tan it would just look super natural and it could look kind of beachy too. Now I'm just buttoning up my shirt and if any of you guys had a uniform, did you hate having the top button done up because that was like oh, the worst thing? And then I'm also adding a little tie scarf and this sweater that was actually from my school uniform but I added a Chilton badge over top and now we're off to school. Up, up, up in a painted cup I will pour my love from a cloud above so bright I can see the lights Taking you up and above the blue sky Tastes good to be drinking all of the honey sweet brew of ours Up, up in a painted cup Right in the sky like a firefly Like a firefly Rory wears just a couple of different hairstyles when she goes to school and they're super simple. Like these will be the easiest hairstyles I've ever put on my channel, but they are good ideas. So first I'm just brushing back um, the first half of my hair and then I'm taking two smaller sections on either side and I'm giving it a little twist and then I'm going to section this off with a little elastic. So it's half up, half down do, but not the Ariana Grande one we see a lot, um, just really soft and really easy to wear. And once I have this look, it's really easy to do the next one as well because I love to do um, like mid kind of lowish ponytails when I have this style already in because then it's super easy to make it smooth. You just connect the hair and a fun little accessory is to wear a scarf in it. So I have so many tie scarves. I'm sure you guys have seen me wear them around my neck, but they're really cute to put in the pony too. Of course, a super easy hairstyle is just wearing a headband and I think it's really cute if you have it in like a jean or a neutral shade because it just makes it a bit more mature and I love this look. I think it's really cute, keeps the hair out of the face and I like that this kind of matches the uniform. This next style takes two seconds and it's actually really pretty so you just take a small section from the front of your hair, give it a bit of a twist and then use a flat clip and put it in place and there you go. It's very quick and easy and it kind of has a romantic feel to it.
last hairstyle I'm going to show is just a simple braid. So have your hair parted on one side and then we're going to take the front section and leave about a bang area out and then we're going to just start braiding. So a normal braid, da -da -do, and then when you're about halfway down, section off with an elastic. I copied Rory here and I'm wearing this bright blue elastic I got from the drugstore but if you want it to be more subtle just use a clear elastic or one that matches your hair. Last step is just to piece apart the braid and give that front section a little bit more volume and there is the completed look. So let me know in the comments what your favorite hair look was and uh, let's head over to Luke's. I had so much fun filming this look today and if you enjoyed make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of my beauty videos and of course Rory doesn't always wear um, this uniform and she definitely grows up throughout the seasons so I found a look that I really loved and I thought I would show you a uh, very similar outfit that you can get so this is the look that I'm inspired by and then this is a dress that I found on lulus.com and it's black and white and it has the sheer top as well and then it also has a bit of a longer style and I just thought this was really similar when I saw it. I was like, oh my god, reminds me of Roy. So I got it and this is what it looks like on. And then to go with it, I also found these bow shoes that are super similar to the show as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thought I'd just throw in that extra little bit because um, yeah, I ended up having a very similar dress to Rory. And if you have any requests, you can let me know in the comments. And if you want to find me on social media, I'm always under Jackie Wires. And I'll see you next time.